Hey there, Storm with you here, and in this guitar lesson I want to talk about something fundamental to playing the guitar that sometimes doesn't get enough attention and something we all have as guitar players that we need to deal with and they change daily and uh, need attention daily ideally is um, fingernails. We all have them as guitar players, as people, and uh, if they're not paid attention to since they grow uh, they can uh, start to affect your guitar playing in a negative way and um, so I thought we should talk about that for a moment and you know ideally they need attention every day um, it, for me I've had a couple things going on I don't always take care of them every day G generally before I practice and definitely before I perform um, but it's been about two and a half three days and, I, and they I went to play guitar today and they need attention so I thought I'd shoot this video really quick and um, talk about the left hand which for me is the the uh, hand on the neck and the right hand which for me is the picking hand um, uh, I'll give you my uh, uh, advice on on that I'm uh, going to uh, let's break it down like that first the left hand okay so for the left hand uh, first like I said, it's been a couple days since I've cut my nails. They grow pretty fast. And the length that they're at right now is too long. If uh, if I go to play certain chords, like a C, classic C cowboy open string chord, the nails being too long will tend to force your hand uh, to rotate, and you'll uh, tend to touch the wood of the fingerboard before you can fret the string to the fingerboard cleanly. So pretty much the rule is just in the left hand keep everything short. So I mean the tools you need for for um, taking care of your nails pretty much is a fingernail clipper and a fingernail file. Now I don't have uh, there if we're really into the right hand uh, you can shape it with uh, even finer grains. I just pretty much grab whatever my wife's got in the uh, in the uh, bathroom drawer. Uh, but I'm going to trim my left hand nails and show you uh, uh, really quick uh, a good length and um, and just shape it so that there's no um, shape it so that there's no little um, snags there. So if I took my my um, left hand uh, middle finger here and just shape it so that you know it's short enough when you can see the difference between that you can see much more uh, the tip of the fingers available now than uh, this other nail so I would do that with all four uh, fingers and the thumb you know it's not as important but since you're doing them all I'm gonna do that right all right so that's done uh, nice and clean short short enough uh, that I could get to some of these chords that would have been uh, those nails would have been in the way. Now let's talk about the right hand and for me the right hand is um, more critical I mean the left hand pretty much is you keep them short. The right hand is uh, I tend to leave a little bit longer um, because you get a brighter sound from from picking by leaving a little bit of nail um, now, if you play a lot of finger style guitar or classical classical guitar, you might leave these even longer. Um, but for me, about a sixteenth of an inch in the right hand. If you're doing a lot of two hand tapping kind of things with the right hand, you might have to sacrifice some of the length of the nail here. But um, for me, the important thing is um, if you leave it longer. I'm not meaning to flip anybody off. Uh, is to try and um, Avoid any like. I'm trying to get this so that it's clear. Um, try not to have like a straight edge to the end of your nail. You try to so this has like a kind of a point on it. I'm going to try and file that off and kind of shape the nail so that it makes kind of a ramp as you pick. If you have a if you have a on that corner that's closest to your body, if you have a corner there, it can really snag. Um, and uh, cause some problems when you're playing finger style. So, so really, I don't. If again, most of this I don't usually um, cut the right hand. A lot of this is more just shaping it with a fingernail file. And 
you know, I'm not a huge uh, finger picking type of uh, person. So, I mean, I, I do play finger style, but if you play like classical guitar or, um, uh, you know, especially classical guitar or maybe a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Travis style picking, uh, you know, you can get into, uh, you know, uh, people who use fake nails, and I, I'm going to leave that for another lesson. Um, you know, adding ping pong ball cutouts on your fingers and using nail hardeners. Um, pretty. Uh, simple as far as that goes. I just try to keep the nail uh, uh, shaped and um, don't go into too much details and I think for probably the majority of you that's going to be fine. Um, so really you got to pay attention to the right hand. Uh, leave it about a sixteenth of an inch longer which should be um, an advantage for you in a lot of ways and um, uh, you know if you have to you cut it um, but really just try to keep uh, any little snags uh, off there and, and try to shape the nail so that the string has somewhat of a of a of a ramp to um, to come off the string. So pretty much that's it. It's not um, rocket science, obviously, but just um, watch the length of your nails. If, if uh, I've seen it with students, they leave the nail too long and go, "Oh, I'm having a problem with this cord." You know, if your nails are too long, anybody's going to have problems with the left hand on the neck and with the right hand, again, uh, maybe try and shape the nail and, and just keep, it, keep the edge of it nice and clean. Okay, hope that helps you. Uh, simple idea, but um, something we all have to deal with. Fingernails.